Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, everyone. Today is uh, June. What we what we set aside to celebrate June tenth, uh, Juneteenth. It's supposed to be a, a day of freedom and liberation. And I wanted to come on and give a quick nugget concerning our mental health and how we should utilize the actual opportunity to walk in freedom and liberation, even with our mental health and uh, in order understanding uh, how free we can be to accept, you know, that we're not okay. If you're not okay, it's okay to say you're not okay. Uh, it, what it's not okay to do is, is to know you're not okay and then not seek help for not being okay. So today I wanted to stop in and tell you that Use your freedom and liberation to continue to walk in freedom and liberation for you. And as you do that, you become a better you. You learn that even when you walk in rooms that you don't want to, that others don't want to see you in, you learn that they don't have control over the doors that you open and close. When you use your, uh, your instinct, in your mental health with fr with freedom and liberation you understand that there there is there are atmospheres that you will change and when you change those atmospheres everybody is not going to be okay with the change because sometimes the atmospheres that you change it does not just affect you it affects others and others who once had access to you in those atmospheres once that change comes they no longer have access. And and sometimes people want to stay in a place where they have access to control and to push and to and to have um, have the freedom and liberation to gain knowledge from you. But today God is saying this is your day to accept your freedom and liberation concerning you. Concerning you. God will perfect that which concerns you. So don't you worry about the things of the past, the things of the old. Don't you worry about the moment uh, that you used to worry about. Don't worry about those moments. Just consider what God has given you, which is now. And when you consider what God has given you and you accept the now in your life and enjoy this now moment, you no longer be bound to the things that held you bound in yesterday because today is a new day. You walk in freedom, you walk in liberation in all aspects of your life. And therefore, other people don't get to dictate your atmosphere, doesn't get to dictate doors that are open, their doors that are closed. They don't get to dictate your mood for today because you have grabbed hold to your freedom and liberation and you have snatched that back for yourself. So the day is the day that you say, I'm going to be snatched. I'm snatching my freedom. I'm snatching my liberation. And I'm utilizing it to the knowledge, to the, to the fullest knowledge that it will be able to, to help me, to edify me, to lift me up so that I can be the best me I can be. If there's medication that you need, seek help. Get the medication that you need. If it's counseling that you need, seek help. Get the counseling that you need. Get what you need for you so that you can be the best you you can be. That stigma that comes with, 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 with the black community about mental health, destroy it. Tear that wall down. Break in. Break through. Break loose and receive your freedom. God bless.